In this video, I'll show you how we can make this nice portfolio table section in your Elementor website. So when you hover over each of these rows, you can see different images for each of them with this cool transition. So without any further ado, let's see how we can make that. Okay, so before starting, I want to say that we're going to build this whole thing only using the free version of Elementor. So you don't need Elementor Pro or any other extra plugin. And here I will also show you everything from scratch. But if you also don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to get this thing as a ready-made template, you can also get this from my template shop. And after downloading the zip file, you will get both the container and the old section column version. So if you are using container, you can just go inside this folder. We just need this JSON file. Let's upload this to our template upload option. If we just insert this and see it from our preview, we can see this effect is perfectly working and it's also fully responsive. So it also looks good for the tablet and the mobile devices. Okay, but if you also don't want this ready-made template, you can also start it from scratch. So I want to delete this whole thing. And now I will start everything from scratch. So first of all, let's create a new container and make it to full height. So make it to 100 VH and also give it a background color. And inside that, here we will create our main table section. So basically I want to create a container and inside that we need to take two separate container at the top where we will place all of our headings and at the bottom where we will place all of our rows. And inside these rows, we will place our containers where we can place our content. Just keep in mind, we need to do this exact same structure, otherwise this table may not work properly. Okay? So let's just create our first container. And first thing we need to do is make the content width to full width. Basically here for our this container and all the container inside that, we need to make this content width to the full width to make it perfectly working. And here also before starting, I want to align this container to the center. So let's go to this parent container and make it just of a content to the center. Perfect. Now inside this container, first of all, we need to take an another container for all of our headings. So let's drag a new container here. Like before, let's make it to full width and also set some padding. Now inside this, let's drag some heading widget and change this text. Let's change this color and also change its typography. And I don't want to make it full width. So from here, let's set a width 30%. Okay, now I want to duplicate this couple more times and change the content. Here, as I want to create a four column structure, so I have taken four heading widget for that. But in your case, if you want to create more or less columns, you also need to adjust it according to your need. Okay. So here for the first three items, I want to keep them 30% and for the last one for this year, I don't need too much space. So just keep it to 10%. Now to place them horizontally, let's go to this parent container and we need to make its direction to the row. Perfect. Here at the bottom, let's also add a slight border. So make it to solid, make it to one pixel and give it a semi-transparent color. Okay, so our heading section is done. Now, right after that, we also want to create a new another container. Let's drag it to here. Okay, we need to place it at the right spot. So if you open the navigator, from here we need to just drag it right outside our this container and drag it right above here. Okay, now for our this container, make it to again full width and also make its padding to zero. Now inside that, let's create our first row. So I want to add a new container here. We can just copy our this existing container and if we paste it to here, here we can see this new one. And as we copy this, this container already copy this option like the content width and the padding. Now inside this row, we need to create our first container. So again, just copy this and paste a new container here. And like before, I also want to make it to 30%. Here 
here inside this container. Now we will place our content. So I want to add a text editor widget and let's put our text. Also make some design. For the text editor widget, here you can see some caps. This basically comes from the margin of the paragraph inside this widget. Don't worry, we will also remove that with our custom CSS. But before that, I want to show you one thing. If we go to our mobile mode, here you can see as all of our headings are inside this container, so it's looking too weird for the mobile devices. Basically for mobile, I want to create this structure where we want to hide our this container. So we just need to go inside this responsive option and let's hide this for mobile. And we will create our these headings individually for all of our content. So what we need to do, we just need to duplicate our this container and we will make our this first one, our title. So let's write down here, project and change its style a little bit. Also, as we only want to show this for our mobile devices, so let's also hide this from the other devices, the desktop and the tablet. Now to place them horizontally, go to their parent container and make their direction to the row. Justify content to space between. Perfect. Here at the bottom, let's also add a slight border. Now let's go back to our desktop. And here you can see, as we give this border type to solid, so also on desktop, it creates this weird border. So from here, I want to remove this, make it to zero. Now, like before, I also want to duplicate this whole container and change their content. Okay, for this last one, I want to again make it to 10% and also place them horizontally. Let's go to their parent container, this one and make that direction to the row. And here on desktop, at the bottom, I also want to add some slight border. So again, make it to solid, give it to one pixel and set its color. Also set some padding. Now, if you look at our final result, you can see for each of these rows, here is an image. So basically we need to put that image inside the rows. So let's drag an image widget. Basically, we need to put it right here and upload an image from the style. Here, let's make it to 250 by 250 pixel. And also make sure to keep the object fit to the cover. Now I want to duplicate our this whole row and make a couple of rows. But before duplicating, it's always better to check it for the tablet and the mobile devices. Because if you duplicate first and do the responsive work, then you need to do the responsive work again for that duplicated content. Okay? So for tablet, it's okay. On the mobile, we need to fix this image, make it to 100% by 340 pixel. And here it's not still 100%. So to make it work, we need to make this width to full width. Perfect. And after that, here at the bottom, we can see two borders. So the second border is basically comes from our this container. So we need to make it to zero for the mobile devices. We also don't want this padding around. So let's also make it to zero. I want to keep some padding only at the bottom. So make it to 50 pixel. And we can see some gaps between these items. So we also want to make this gap to zero from here. Instead, I want to put some padding for each of our these containers. Okay, we have added all the padding. And one last thing we need to do, we need to add some padding at the top and bottom of this section. So go to at the very top container here and add here some padding. Now, finally, let's go back to our desktop. Okay, so here basically you can see this image like this. And because of this image, all of our these remaining containers shifted on the right side. But don't worry, when you paste our JavaScript code, then the structure will be fixed automatically. Right now, let's just duplicate our this row. So go to our this container and duplicate this couple more times. And let's quickly change the content. Okay, we have changed all of our content. 
So right now if we look at our final result and look at this transition carefully, we can see this moving box is basically a container and inside this container here are all those images which are showing according to the row. So to create this, basically we need to grab all of our these images and place it inside a single container. But don't worry, you don't need to do that, I will do that under the hood with the JavaScript code. What you need to do, you just need to create a container for that animation. So let's drag a new container here and place it right above here. Make it to full width and 250 by 250 pixel. Let's also remove this padding, make its position to the fix, increase the Z index and also don't forget to make its overflow to hidden. And as I want this effect only for the tablet and the desktop, so let's also hide this from the mobile device. So everything is basically done. Now finally I want to add our custom code. But before that I want to add some classes with some specific containers. First let's go to this one and here I want to add the class MDW table portfolio and with our this container we need to add the class mdw table hover images and with this one let's add our last class mdw table portfolio main and lastly to add the javascript code we need to add our html widget let's drag it to here right above this one and let's paste this code here you also don't need to worry about this code snippet i will give this code snippet to my website and also give that website link to my description so from here you just need to copy and paste that code okay if we update this and see the preview and here you can see this effect is working and at some point in between here it's not working properly because here we have some gap so let's also remove this go to our this container and make this gap to zero and also we have some cap here we need to remove this from here okay now if we hover over on that we can see it's perfectly working and also on the mobile it looks really so nice so that's how you can create this table portfolio section on your elementor website if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video